thinking about some of the work that you do if you're doing com community volunteerism or community organizing that are very, very applicable uh, to more you know, paid positions as well. So I think it's a really great developmental opportunity. You know, we encourage our uh, directors to serve on nonprofit boards. You get to network with a lot of people, meet a lot of people that way. Um, since I have an HR background, you know, I, I ran their HR committee. I now am in charge of their governance and nominating committee. Um, I work with the board of directors at Sun Microsystems as well, so I you know, end up doing a lot of board work uh, in general. But I think it's a really good way to network and get out in the community. But you have to like what you're doing. It has to be something you're passionate about. I happen to be passionate about kids. Yeah. I, I absolutely agree. If, if you have an interest and you feel like you can carve the time out, uh, it's a great way to develop you know, additional and diverse relationships with other people in the community. And, you know, continuing to build your network is really, really important. I used to think for networking that I would have to go to lunch with everybody. <laughs> That's what I thought networking was. And, and it, I mean, I just couldn't stand it because, you know, I was getting too fat. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But, uh, but uh, I think that what I have learned about networking and certainly, um, you know, community service is, is, is a wonderful avenue for this is, you know, just you can have a very kind of high level interaction with somebody where it doesn't have to take a lot of your time and um, and working in community service you get the opportunity to to meet a lot of very diverse people and and uh, again uh, if, if you are if it is something that you're passionate you know around and you can carve the time out for it there's a lot of you know benefits for you in your career going forward so I actually had a very different experience, right? In my case, I left a corporate job to actually fully immerse myself in a nonprofit and be an integral part of it. And I remember there was a lot of skepticism, both from my parents again saying, how could you do this? I mean, after everything you've done, you want to go work at a nonprofit? Um, that's, uh, that's a huge derailment in your career. But I loved it. In fact, it gave me both the privilege and the opportunity to bring in all of the skills I honed when I was in the corporate sector into the nonprofit sector and of course hone them even further more uh, being here. So I loved the whole experience. Now I'm back um, in, in the high tech world but I'm taking back now some of the skills I honed when I was there. So I certainly it felt that it was a privilege to have been afforded that opportunity at that time in my career. It, it, I don't think of it as a derailment. And I strongly encourage that even when you are, when, if any of you have this opportunity presented, you must avail it because it only enhances your skills. Um, you see things from a very different light. Um, it enhances your life on, on the whole. Thank you. On behalf of OPEN, I want to thank our panelists for a very insightful and lively discussion. Thank you. I think you will be uh, staying for lunch, for the mentoring lunch. Um, so you, everyone will have an opportunity to, to uh, speak with them further.